Today we're going to be starting out in CMOD and we're going to open up some documents. So I'm just going to do a quick search here. And um, I can put criteria in there. I'm just going to look at all the results. As I look at my result set, um, I could always open up a document and take a look at it, but I'm more interested in getting the data out of it. So if we look at what uh, RMS can do for us, I can open up an individual document, but if I want, I can open up, let's say, these top five documents all at once. If I right click here, you'll see an option for mine with RMS, which is our report mining server. And when I click on that, I'm opening up another tab, uh, and this tab will uh, bring in the five documents temporarily. Those documents uh, aren't being taken out of CMOD, uh, but it'll give me a different view. So because I have a model that's been created against those reports, I can now see the individual line items uh, in a tabular format for that data. And if I want, I can uh, do some things like this where I can do categorizations. If I want to do a summary amount there as well, I can do that, change that to a sum. And as I do that, I start looking and I see Colorado's got a very large amount of data. So I can look into that, look through the items. I see this is all demo data, of course, but I see this $134 item here. If I want to look at that in the report itself, um, I can click on the line item and it will open up the report. It'll go to that page and it will highlight the line that we were looking at um, within that report. Uh, but more importantly, uh, a lot of times people want to download this data. If I want to download that data into Excel, that's fine. That's one of my options. Uh, but we have the, the option now to uh, bring that directly down into data prep. Because a lot of times if I'm bringing that down into Excel, there are other things that I want to do with it. So if I open it directly with Data Watch uh, Data Prep, uh, which is Mark, uh, it'll bring it up and it gives me the ability to preview it. So I can look and see what file it brought in. I've got 33 lines. Here's all the fields that it brought in. Um, or I can open it up and now I can actually do some uh, data preparation with it. If I don't like the date format, of course, I can do something like that. Change the format uh, to the short date. If I had, uh, if I wanted to split these uh, field numbers for whatever reason, um, I could split into parts and it looks like I have a hyphen there for my split. So now I've got my uh, account number split into three pieces, and that gives me the ability to, to use that information uh, wherever it is that I'm going. If I have another set of data that I want to join it to, um, we can always add other data types, and that's what you see here. So I could add uh, textual data, I could add uh, relational data, um, I can even go out to web or big data sources. So I can bring this data in here, I can uh, join it with other data, I can do the preparation, and then when I'm done, I can go to export that data. And we have two versions. We have a, uh, an IBM version that will uh, export directly to Watson Analytics or Cognos Analytics, um, or you can see in the complete version, which is what I'm using here, we have export into uh, several different export types, including a CSV file all the way up to um, the Watson Analytics click tableau. So that's the options that we have uh, that are added from RMS. And as you saw, that was all starting with Content Manager On Demand and removing those, removing the data from those reports interactively.